going on to our congregational prayers and the team is silencing the voices against your open doors Amen. silencing the voice of your open doors like like it is written in the bible said the eff effective door the, the for for uh, the door for effective work has been opened unto me but there are many that oppose it yeah. as god has spoken his word over our lives over his children that this year for us shall it be a year of soaring high for us. There are many voices that are waiting to oppose us. But we pray that even as we sing hallelujah, as we shout hallelujah, those voices, they are disabled. They are annulled in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible also tells that we should enter his gates with thanksgiving in our heart. And also Psalm 65 verse 5, the NLT version says, You faithfully answer our prayers with awesome deeds. Yes. O God, our Savior, yes. you are the hope of everyone on earth. Yes. Even those who sail on the distant sea. Yeah. Our God is our hope. Yeah. This, we just started our 2021. It seems like, you know, just days ago. Yeah. But today is the 31st day, the last day in the first, uh, the last day in, of the first month of the year. Yeah. And, you know, you've prayed, you've asked God for something. And God has shown him. It's, we've only gone through 31 days. And God has begun to show you know, he, you know, he has only begun to show his fingers, not even his hand. Let us appreciate the Lord. Let's thank God for the awesome deed that he has shown in our lives, in our families, in our home, in our city. Let's thank God for, for him keeping us and us sustaining us through it all. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for your awesome deeds in my life, in my family, in the church of God, in the city of Calgary, in the nation of Canada, in the nation of Nigeria. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise, O oh God. Father, we thank you Lord, for when the enemy came against us, you lifted a standard against him. Father, we thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for providing all our needs. Thank you, Lord, my God, for not allowing us to be put to shame. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for not allowing this month to be the end of us, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Psalm 32 verse 5 says, Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgave me. All my guilt is done, uh, is gone. So this morning, for our guilt to be done away with, let us ask the Lord Almighty, the only one who is able to forgive sins, the only one who is able to forget our past, regardless of how bad it might have been. Let us confess our sin to the Lord this morning and ask that he will have mercy on us, Amen. that he will forgive us and cleanse us of every works of iniquity that we have committed that is against us in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, almighty God, I confess all my sins before you. For Lord, my God, I know I have sinned, O oh God. I have sinned with my eyes. I have sinned in my thoughts. I have sinned with my mouth. I have sinned, O oh God, even in doing and undoing, O oh God. And Lord, this morning, O oh God, even as the psalmist said, he said, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and he will forgive me. Father, I confess every of my rebellion. I confess every of my disobedience. I confess, O oh Lord, every of my laziness before you, Lord. I ask, O oh God, for mercy. I ask, O oh God, for mercy. Father, have mercy on me. Me, oh Lord, forgive me, Lord, cleanse me, O oh Lord. Anything that I have done, anything that anyone around me has done that will stand, O oh Lord, as an hindrance to my prayers being answered. Father, this morning, I pray you forgive and cleanse us, O oh God. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Psalm 24, verse 8. Before that, you know, the Bible was saying that. Uh, 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 lift up your heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, you everlasting door, that the King of glory may come in. And a voice spoke up and said, Who is this King of glory? Yes. There are many voices that are speaking, that are saying that, Who is that God? Who is saying that you will soar when they are intending negativity for you? Who is that thing that is saying that you will conceive, you will bring forth? Who is that thing? Uh, well, you know, there are some voices that are challenging God in your life. So this morning, I want us to pray and say, Father, silence every voice that is questioning your authority. Like that Amen. voice said, who is the king of glory? Say, Father, silence every voice that is questioning your authority in my life, that is questioning your word in my life, that is opposing every good doors for my life. Father, silence them in the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, every voice, O oh God, that is challenging your authority in my life, that is challenging your glory in my life, that is challenging your grace upon my life, that is challenging your favor upon my life, that is challenging the lifting up of my head, that is challenging conception. That is challenging fruitfulness. That is challenging bringing forth. That is 
is challenging the performance of your word in my life. That is challenging my open doors. Father, today let them be silenced, O oh God. Father, let them be silenced, O oh God. Let them be permanently, O oh Lord, muted, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. That they may know, O oh Lord, that you alone, you are the King of glory. That you indeed are the King of glory. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name, O oh God. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. In 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 20 to 21, the Bible says, Absalom said to Haitophel, give us your advice. What should we do? He said, Haitophel answered, sleep with your father's concubines, whom he left to take care of the, of the palace. Then all Israel will hear that you have made yourself obnoxious to your father, and the hands of everyone with you will be more resolute. There are many voices that are speaking, you know, perhaps at your business, at your, at your uh, place of work, uh, you know, they, they are intending to bless you, you know, or, or they have promoted you. And there are some voices that are speaking, that, that are planning, that, that, that are planning, that have come together to bring you down. So let us pray today and say, Father, frustrate every voice of Aitofel that is giving out evil counsel against me. Amen. Every voice of Aitofel that is speaking, that is speaking evil against my life. Father, frustrate them as you frustrate that Aitofel fell in Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, I pray, O oh Lord, uh, for every Ayito fellow God that is e that is giving evil counsel against my life, Father, I pray you frustrate them, O oh God, for every Ayito fellow God that is giving the, 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 that is giving advice, O oh Lord, on how to bring me down, that is giving an advice, O oh God, on how to stand in my way, or how to obstruct my way. Father, today frustrate them. Father, frustrate, O oh God, every voice of Ayito fell. Frustrate them, O oh Lord. Wherever they are gathered, Father, frustrate them, O oh Lord, and silence them in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. First Kings 13, verse 18, the NLT version says, But the old prophet answered, I am a prophet too, just as you are. And an angel gave me this command from the Lord, bring him home with you so he can have something to eat and drink. The Bible says, but the old man was lying to him. I'm sure we're all very familiar of the story of the young prophet and the old prophet. God sent the young prophet to, do, to deliver a message. And God told him that he, should not, uh, that, that he should not go back the same way he came, that he should not stop to eat, he should not do it, but rather he should just keep going. And this old prophet came and lied to him and ruined his destiny. And, you know, because after, after the young uh, pr uh, prophet disobeyed God by following the old prophet that lied to him, he was killed. And his body was just thrown to the side of the road. His destiny was destroyed. So today we are praying and saying, Father, silence the voice of anyone, any power, any authority anywhere that is intent on misdirecting. There are some people, because they don't want you to be better than them, because they don't want you to make it, make it, uh, make it in life, they will tell you lies. They will want to discourage you. They will say things that God has not given that God has not given them to say. So we are praying and say, Father, silence the voice of anyone, any power that is intent on misdirecting me with deceit, that is intent on misdirecting me with lies. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, Father, Lord, every old prophet voice that is still ringing in my life, I pray, Lord, today that you will silence them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Any voice that is around me that is speaking deceit into my ears, that is speaking lies into my ears, in all order to misdirect me, in order to make me look purpose, in order, oh Lord, to, 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 to cause me to be cut off from your presence. Father, today let them be silenced, oh God, and whoever that whole prophet is, oh God. Father, Lord, expose them. Expose them, oh God. Expose them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be silenced, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless your name, for in Jesus' name we are praying. We are prayed. We have just about six more prayer points to go. Numbers 14, 36 and 37 says, So the men Moses had sent to explore the land, who returned and made the whole community grumble against him by spreading the bad report about it. These men who were responsible for spreading the bad report about the land were struck, were struck down and died of a plague before the Lord. Twelve men were sent out to spy the, new, uh, the, the promised land, and ten men, they came back with a report. And because of that evil report, the people, they lose heart. You know, they, they, they lose heart in, in, in the word of God. They, they began to rebel. 
Because why? Because of the voices of ten men. So today we are praying and say, Father, please help me to guard my heart against every voice of discouragement. Help me to guard my heart against every voice of defeat. Help me to guard my heart against every voice that is speaking contrary to that which you have spoken for my life in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, my God, that you will help me, O oh God, to guard my heart, O oh God, against every voice of discouragement, to guide my heart, O oh God, against every voice of defeat, to guard my heart, O oh God, against every voice that is speaking contrary to your will, O oh God. Help me, O oh Lord, to be at a lot, O oh God, that I will not give here to the, to the voice of discouragement, that I will not give here, O oh Lord, to the voice, O oh God, that will turn my heart against you, Lord. I will not give here, O oh Lord, to the voices, Father, that are speaking contrary to your will. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, to guide my heart with all diligence, O oh God. For I know that it is out of it that come the issues of life. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Lamentations 3.37 says, Who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? If the Lord has not spoken something, nobody, regardless of how powerful or whatever they may be, can bring it to pass. And we are praying this morning and say, Father, whatever has been spoken into my life that is not from you, please nullify today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Like Jesus Christ said, he said, what my father has not planted shall be uprooted. So today we are praying against those evil voices, against those evil declarations that has been made against us, that has been made into our life that is not of God. That today we pull them from their very roots and we ask God to nullify them, to destroy them in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, you are the final say, O oh God. You are the final authority, Lord. And I pray, Almighty God, that every voice of Balaam, O oh God, Every voice of Balak, O oh God, that has spoken into my life. Every voice, O oh God, of, of sorrow. Every God, voice of deceit. Every contrary voice. Every evil pronouncement that has been made into my life, O oh God. Father, today nullify them, Lord, in Jesus' name, O oh God. Every evil voice that has been sown into the foundation of my life. Because it is not of you. Father, uproot today in the name of Jesus. Every voice that is contrary to your word. That is contrary to your promise. O oh, mighty God, uproot them, O oh Lord, and nullify them and destroy them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. John 10, 5 says, but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Yeah. And we are praying and say, Father, please help me to be able to distinguish your voice from that of a stranger. Yeah. To be able to distinguish your voice from that of the world so that I will not be led astray. There are many principles. There are many philosophies that are going on out there. Father, please help me that I will tune in only to your word. That I will not be misled by these strange voices. I will not give consent to these strange voices who come into my life. In the name of Jesus, I will pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, oh Lord, that you will help me to be able to distinguish, oh Lord, your voice from that of a stranger. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that will not be led astray by the voice of a stranger. Father, Lord, there are many voices out there, oh Lord, but Lord, my God, help me to not give my ears, oh God, to the voice of a stranger. But Lord, help me to run away, Lord, from these voices, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The voice of a stranger speaking in my life. Speaking over the church, speaking over my finances, speaking over my blessings. Father, today, let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Isaiah 30 verse 21 says, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. We need God for direction. As God led the Israelites from Egypt to the promised land, we need God's direction. Because we in ourselves, we, we might have plans, but it takes God to be able to get to that place. Yeah. And we are praying to and say, Father, as you speak and lead me in this new year, please help me to be perfectly tuned into your voice for direction. 
into your perfect will for my life in Jesus. We need to pray that our ears will be open to hear God clearly. Amen. That we will not lean on our own understanding. Amen. But rather in all our ways, we will, die, we will acknowledge, we will follow God's direction. Shall we begin to pray in Jesus' name? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, as you lead me, as you speak to me, Lord, in this new year, I pray, Lord, that you will help me, Father, to be perfectly, Lord, in tune with your voice, O oh God, that I will not hear the voice of another, Lord, but only your voice will I hear. Only your voice, O oh God, will, 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 will come, O oh Lord, into my heart, O oh God, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that you will lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. You will lead me, O oh God, as a pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of cloud and fire by night in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise. For in Jesus' name we're prayed. Matthew 3, 17 says, And the voice from heaven said, This is my son, whom I love. Yes. With him I am well pleased. With yes. him I am well pleased. And we want God to be able to say this of us too. At the end of the day, that he is pleased with us. That welcome, my faithful servant. Enter yes. into my rest. So let us pray that God, please announce me for your glory. Yes. Announce me for your glory. As you announce Jesus Christ before men, announce me for your glory. That by the way I live my life, by the way I talk, men will be attracted to you. Men will come to you in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, oh Lord, I, indeed that voice will come from heaven, oh God, and declare your glory in my life, oh God. Father, you will announce me from promotion. You will announce me for glory. You will announce me for upliftment. You will announce me, O God, for breakthrough. You will announce me for settlement. You will announce me for fruitfulness. You will announce me for abundance. You will announce me, O God. Father, you will announce me, O God. Your voice will announce me, O God. Everywhere I go, ways, O God, will be open unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you and I bless your holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. God said that we should pray and he will answer us. And we have prayed this morning. So let us begin to thank God because we have confidence that he has answered us. Let us thank you for answered prayers in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I thank you for the answered prayers. I thank you, Lord, for it is not unto him that run it or will it, but it is of you that show it mercy. Father, we thank you for your mercy that you have shown towards us. That even as we have prayed, O oh God, for you said we should ask and we shall receive. As we have asked of you today, thank you for we have received. As we have knocked upon your door, thank you for the door has been opened unto us. And as we have sought you out this morning, thank you, Lord, for we have found you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for we are found by you. We are found by you. Father, we thank you and we give you praise, O oh God. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Amen.